Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kakasungura YouTube channel. A big thank you to each and every one of you for your continued support. Today, William Ruto was in KC to commission a number of projects as organized by the local leaders, the member of parliament that are in UDA. Um, I witnessed a scenario whereby when Ruto was at Ichuni in Nyaribari Chache constituency, Kisi County, <clears throat> where um, a number of leaders were given an opportunity to speak. Governor Simbarati was there and other ODM uh, MPs and uh, UDA MPs were there, including the Kisi women rep, uh, Doris Donya Toto, who was elected on the wiper uh, ticket. Ichuni is where Donya was born. That's where she was raised. So in short, that was her home ground. Pale ni nyombani kwa ushago. But then, when William Ruto gave her the microphone, the crowd could not allow her to speak. They completely silenced her. And she even accused the Kisi governor of mobilizing young people against her. So Akuangea actually ali, ali, ali fukuzwa. She was silenced. Ali katazwa. Wewe apana. Mm -mm, sit in front of the president. Ruto was standing here. Donya was standing here. Kambiwa. Mm -mm, ah, ah, mm -mm. She cried all her voice. But nobody could listen to her. So she retreated and gave up. Akapeana microphone. Can we watch this clip? Chisuita atimbi amare. Okay. Moja. Moja. Nyingi na wajua. Nyingi ni wa governor. Governor ulizi umani rep. Governor nko wadi arobo umani repu. Ara muraba na wa governor. Governor ndi ame watuma. Eh. Aba ntoma ina riba arimbi amare. Muarari lana siya governor. Okay, Asanti, muambia governor wape pesa mingi. Governor walipe pesa mingi. Governor walipe pesa mingi watusi wa mama. Asanti. Someone might ask a question. Why is this happening? I want to tell you how the Kisi politics work. We all know that as much as Ruto is trying to penetrate in Gusi region, Gusi has not yet moved from Azimio, and more especially from ODM. Simbarati has been a very strong leader in the ODM party, and as we speak, he was appointed as one of the deputy party leaders. There's one fact about Simbarati. You don't need to give Simbarat money to mobilize. Kama Ruta nataka kuja kisi, you only need to call Simbarat na kuja kesho and you will find people ready. Arati is a powerful mobilizer. He can mobilize thousands of people within two hours. That is, is best at that. So I'm not saying he's the one who mobilized against Donya, but I want to open a picture and you see why maybe the people had to reject Donya. During the 2022 campaigns, Arati alichukua mizizi kisi. In fact, as we speak, even the children, pale mashinani wa PP1, even playgroup, wako na bagi ya shule ya Simbarati. Wa mama pale mashinani wako na muavuli na t-shirt ya Simbarati. Simbarati aliingia kwa roho za watu, aka sink, aka kaa pale, and is camping there. So in short, Arati has ground, political ground. Pale Mashinani, you can't beat him. Those are facts. Donya used the opportunity. Donya used Simbarati's popularism to be elected as a woman rep. Because they were campaigning alongside Simbarati. 
Donya was Simbarati's candidate for women rep. She was in Wiper, Arati was in ODM, but that was Azimio, so she was Arati's candidate. Arati was campaigning for her. As Arati was campaigning for her gubernatorial bid, he was also campaigning for Donya. In the way we are seeing Barati, he kabeba Donya to the office. But later on, Donya, Silvana Sosoro, Jafet Nyakundi, and uh, the Kisi Senator Richard Donyonka, they ganged up against Simba Arati. Wakaanza kumtusi, wakaanza kusema ye ni gun, wakaanza kusema ye ni nini. So, hawajawai elewana since that time. But the Donya forgot what took her in office ni ile wave ya Simba Arati. So, people have been having a grudge with her. Recently, when the 2024 finance bill was being voted, Donya conspicuously missed. When the people of Kisi County expected her to go and vote no, Donya went missing from the National Assembly. That reignited the anchor in people's hearts. Wakasema, ni sawa, but isi kumoja tutampata. So that anchor has been silent. One, the anchor of betraying Simbarati. You know, they had a litmus paper. Ulisikia wabunga wakisi county assembly, uh, MCS. They impeached the Kisi County Governor, Honorable Monda, Dr. Monda. And Donya, Osoro, and the other UDA brigade went around telling the people of the uh, people of Kisi County that Monda is going nowhere. Ata kama me beach, Monda is going nowhere. Uyo Simba Arati atatujua. Hakuna mahali Monda anaenda. Uyo Simba Arati atajua kwamba sisi ni serikali. Hakuna mahali Monda anaenda. So as we speak, Monday is at home. He was successfully impeached. And as we speak, we have a new deputy governor deputizing Simbarati. That was an own goal to the UDA people. Now, wakene wakasema, kisi, ni sawa. Wakati tulimuhitaji, apige no kwa finance bill, amepotea from the assembly. The same person has been abusing Simbarati, who campaigned for her. So watu wamekua kimungoja. So today, wakasema, we want to show her, in front of William Ruto, who she is defending, that the people of Kisi don't want her. So Donya moved from Azimio. She started aligning herself with, the, with the William Ruto. You remember, when Farah Mahalim, Alisema kwamba, if he was the president during the Gen Z protest, he could have killed over 5,000 Gen Zs. Farah Malim was elected on a Wiper ticket. Wiper did a presser and decided to take action against Farah Malim. Donya Toto's name featured among those people who should be disciplined for betraying the party and the coalition. Because Wiper is in Azimio. And once it is in Azimio, Donya was expected to align herself to the rules, regulations, and the beliefs, and the manifesto of Azimio, which was in opposition at that time. Her name came. It features that one of those people should be disciplined. I don't know how that case went. So, what wakisi wakamungoja leo? Wakampigia kelele, as you've watched, na hii kelele is to send a signal to William Ruto. Inaambia Ruto kwamba hata kama umemchukua donya. Kwa ground, mambo ni different. Kwa ground, she has no support. Kwa ground, she has no base. That was an on goal. Donya Melia, amesema kwamba Simba Rati, ndi alilipa watu, wakuje kumpigia kelele. I don't know how true is that. But to me, I connect the heckling to the anchor that has been accumulating in people and they have never found a national avenue like today to express their feelings against the actions that uh, Donya did 
when she was needed most in the National Assembly to pin down the finance bill. We shall see how things will move. Uh, tomorrow, the president will be in South Mogerango uh, at Osoro's base. We are waiting to see. And I will be here to keep you updated. If you're watching this video, as always say, the only way you can support Kaka Sungura is by clicking the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Turning on the notification bell is important because even if you're offline, once I upload a video, that time when you will resume online, YouTube will send you a notification that yes, Kaka Aliweka video, and you keep watching. If you can't turn on the notification bell, how is you akamba nimeweka video? We are at 112 subscribers. Our target, as I told you, is 1 million. Let us keep pushing, and finally we shall be there. God bless you. Asante Nisan.